Hello, my dear students. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Hi, teacher. And you? I am very happy to see you once again to be here with you in another day, in another class. I hope you had a beautiful week. How was, how was your weekend? I'm very happy. You are very happy. <laughs> Why? Why are you happy? Tell me. Yeah. Why? Um, huh? Very tourist. Um, the on the uh, on the beach, El Tunco. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So you told me that you had that you had a store at the beach, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's so nice. So there were many many tourists. Um, repeat. There were many tourists at the beach during the weekend. Yes. How nice. Good. It's good for the. For good, the business, good. good for you and good for the tourists, right? So that's important. Yeah. <laughs> that's very nice, Anayansi. I am very happy that you had a lot of visitors in your store. Mr. Julio, how was your weekend? Very, very busy. Very busy, <laughs> I imagine. What did you do? Saturday, I work all day. The Sunday, spend spending time with the family. So you were uh, working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, some shopping at a supermarket. Oh, that's very tiring. And, and that's it. Looking some film and Netflix. <laughs> and uh, that was the weekend. Gone. <laughs> and the weekend disappeared, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's very complicated when, when you have to do many things. And now that you have to go to the supermarket, clean the objects, clean the products, then organize. I oh, know that's very tiring. That's very tiring. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Very Mr. difficult. Yeah, it's difficult, but it's good because we protect everybody. Mr. Miguel, how was your weekend? How are you, teacher? Hi, I am doing good. Very happy to see you. How was your weekend? Oh, oh it's very good. I am good. asleep. <laughs> that's nice you slept you say i slept because it's him thank you very good blanquita how was your weekend blessing um but very busy the saturday celebrate the birthday for my son oh my god <laughs> yes and in my house have uh 30 kids Oh Playing. my goodness. Yeah, it's very interesting. How you imagine? <laughs> I imagine. Yes. Yes. Imagine and this 30 kids. Oh my 30 goodness. kids. Um and the Sunday, well, if play so uh, play soccer. Bueno, I mean, my, my kids have the play soccer, the play okay. the game. They yes. had a game. They had a game. Yes, my kids. Okay, that's fantastic. So Only that. everybody, everybody's going to receive some candies from the party. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Fantastic. Mr. Milton, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, the Saturday, uh, it was relaxing. That the, um, the Sunday, in the morning, I was the play soccer. Hey, that's cool. Yes, and the the afternoon, I was I, I did watch the the, the game, the game uh, national select versus Costa Rica. Yeah, you didn't see it. Yes. You, you didn't watch the game. No lo vio. Uh, or you you uh, did yeah. watch it. Yeah. I I did. Ah, I okay. did watch. I, I did watch. Okay, very good. Yeah, sorry for the selector, right? That they lost. Catering, yeah. how was your weekend? Miss Catering? 
Hello. Hi. Hi. Good evening. How was your weekend, Catherine? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? Oh, Saturday, uh, I went. Where did you go? Uh, I went to visit a vi uh, family. Okay, you went to visit your family? Um, um, Sunday, half. <laughs> <laughs> you were at home. That's very nice. Well, I am going to ask the last ones. Mr. Ismael, how was your weekend? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. <laughs> yeah, um, my uh, my weekend was kind of uh, good, I can say. And uh, but actually, I we I stay home with my family, and the uh, reason is because my uh, my baby, my daughter, is kind of sick, and so on. That's why, and we stay home and. Yeah, so that is one of the, um, that's how my week was. Oh my, my week, I'm sorry. <laughs> but is, yes. is she feeling better? Yeah, she's better. Okay. She's better now. That's, that's very good. Thank the, God. The, pro the problem is that now my wife is getting sick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's a problem with the kids because you are very close to them, taking care of them. So then you get sick. So it's like, oh, come exactly. on. Exactly. That I, is what happened. I, I have been there. <laughs> I have been there before. <laughs> good. Very good. Thank you, Smile, for sharing. We hope the two girls get better soon. Mr. Diomesis, how are you? How are you? How was your weekend? Uh, with the family in the afternoon uh, and while the hay of the select. <laughs> you watch the game of the of the national the national that is the national selection the national yes. selection okay <clears throat> or national players that's very good miss Heidi how was your weekend my teacher, Hi. I relaxing in my house. <laughs> that's, that was very good. You were relaxing in your house. That's yes, fantastic. Excellent. Regina, how was your weekend? The microphone, Regina, I cannot hear you. Excuse me, ahora sí? Yes, I can, I can listen to you. Um, bueno, I happy and tired because I spend it at home cooking on Sunday. Okay. On Saturday, uh, I work in the afternoon. Okay. You work in the afternoon on Saturday, on Sunday. Yes. Okay. Very good. So. Uh, this was this is a very nice moment because I take advantage of saying hello to you, of listening to you, and also to listen a little bit on how do you practice the past tense. So it is not like, ay, la teacher, mire, qué curioso. No, I, I, I really like to know about you, right? Me encanta saber cómo están, qué han hecho y todo, pero también nos pongo a practicar un poquito el past tense. I, how was your weekend? I did, I went, I visited, I... Um, spend time, right? Past tense, it's a very complicated thing and we need to practice the most of it. So, in the last class, do you remember what were we studying in the previous class? What were we studying in the last class? Do you remember? The relative clauses of the time. The relative clauses of time, right? And we were talking about a specific topics and specific celebrations, right? Yes. The last celebration that we talked about was the wedding, right? That we were sharing a little bit of, of funny stories about weddings and, and things. So we were talking about a specific traditions for the weddings. And we were talking about a specific things that people do in the specific celebrations, right? This was the last thing we did. 
And I sent you the picture on the chat, I remember, for the last exercise. This was the last, the last exercise we had. So, and in this one, uh, what was the conversation about? I, I want to know if you read it. What is the conversation about? Uh -huh. What is it? Recuerdo que se las envié al chat y le dije que las practicáramos y todo. Vamos a ver quién la leyó. Uh -huh. It's about uh, tradition. Uh -huh. The traditions. The traditions on what? Or where? In, in Japan, I think. Uh -huh. The traditions in Japan. But traditions in general or traditions for a specific thing? Uh, it's about wedding. About the weddings. What is something specific that you remember from the traditions of the wedding? I'm going to remove it. If not, you're going to be reading. What are some of the things that you remember from the traditions in weddings in Japan? Tic -tac, tic -tac. Ajá, creo que hasta hoy abrieron el chat y vieron que la habían mandado en el chat. <ríe> Le voy a poner tache todo ahora. ¿Qué pasó? Ok, let's read it together, right? If we didn't read it, I know, I know. Maybe you were very busy on the weekend. We are going to read it together. And the conversation goes like this. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a, a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and the, and the groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and the groom. So. Here, the tradition is on the opposite, right? Here in El Salvador, who receives the presents? The couple. The couple, right? The couple receives the presents. And in some cases, they also receive some money. But in Japan, you have to give presents to the guests. So imagine if we have to do that here in El Salvador, the weddings only with 10 people. Very expensive. It only, only, maybe, how do you say, los recuerditos. Yeah, yeah, the souvenirs. Just little, the... Yes, little presents or souvenirs for the event. That's for, it. But, for the event, but, uh huh. Yes. But it Teacher, is, uh, yes? In, the, in El Salvador, it bad, it bad idea. Yeah, it's a very good idea. I think you can, we can adopt it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I am going to go to your weddings and you can give me a washing machine or a TV or something small like that. <laughs> so they, they share a presents with the guests, but the guests have to give money to the bride and the groom. So that's a good exchange. You giving a, a chocolate to them and they have to give you $20. So... Uh, they have a small ceremony, but a big party. In here in our country, how are the weddings in our country? What are some specific things that we do in the weddings? Can you mention some of the things here? I have some questions here. How old are people in El Salvador when they get married? What happens after the couple gets engaged? Uh, what happens during the ceremony? What do the bride and the groom wear? What kind of food is served in the reception? 
And what kind of gifts do people usually give? So analyze these questions and I need you to answer one of them. How old do you think it's the most common age here in El Salvador for you to get married? Today, and at this time, maybe 30 years old. 30. Maybe. Uh -huh. the, um, in the past, usually, uh, married uh, more younger. Younger, yes. yeah, when you yes. were younger. Uh -huh. 24, 21, maybe. Okay. But this time, usually, married the um, 30 years old. When you are 30 years old. Okay. Yes. Do, do you agree with Blanca? ¿Están de acuerdo con Blanca? Do you agree with her? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. So Blanquita is right. What is the most common thing that people do after they get engaged? What is the most common thing that they do? Get engaged is when you get the ring. It's like, ah. Yeah, I got the ring yeah. and everything. What happens after that? The couple start to prepare all things about the marriage. Okay, they start to prepare uh, everything for the for the wedding, right? What happens during the ceremony here in El Salvador? What is the, or how is a common ceremony for a wedding? It's one hour. It's one hour, ceremony right? or the party? Well, the ceremony. Right now, it's ah, the ceremony, ceremony. because okay. the other one is the reception. Ah, there's okay. One hour, one it's, hour. It's one hour at the church, most commonly. Right here mm, in El Salvador, in we total, don't. Uh -huh. In total, maybe one uh, one hour and a half because uh, get the photograph. Okay. Yeah. That happens during the ceremony, right? They have the 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 act of the ceremony, mm -hmm. depending on the church, and mm -hmm. then thirty minutes of pictures yes. <laughs> in the in the church. Okay, what do they wear? What do they wear when they get married? What do the the bride, that is la novia, and the groom, el novio, wear? What do they wear? How did you say that the maids? The 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 maids are the 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 ladies that accompany the the bride, no? The maid of honor and the other maids. Okay, so the men uh -huh. they wear wear a a suit suit I think. Uh huh. He wears a suit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, women wear a white, usually it's a white dress. Okay. The the bride, que es la novia, the bride wears a right. white dress. And the groom, that it's the man, he wears a suit or a tuxedo. The tuxedo is like the penguin trick. That, that you that you have that it's all black and with a little vest and everything and it's very elegant let's see what is the most common thing that it is served in the reception here in El Salvador what kind of food is served aha uh -huh. What is the most common food that it's served in the weddings here in El Salvador? Maybe chicken. Chicken. Right? For the chicken. price. <laughs> chicken because it's the less expensive thing, right? Because if you cook meat for everybody, eh, that would be very expensive. Imagine if you give fish. <laughs> It would be very expensive. We don't give pupusas because it's very informal, but it would be good. Pupusas or pizza, right? That would be very cheap and nice. But yeah, the most common thing is chicken. 
chicken with salad, and salad, salad. teacher. Chicken salad. salad and rice, right? Rice, yes. And sodas, or or any type of juice or whatever thing. But I think sodas is the most common thing that you give. And in some cases, they put some uh, liquor or alcohol in the in the party, but just a couple of bottles because it's expensive as well. That's a very a very funny story about my wedding, right? That every time that I went to the to the bar to ask for a drink, they say like, "In a moment, in a moment," and I was the the bride, and I was like. Man, it's my party. <laughs> Give me at least one. And the, the thing is that I was asking and asking, and then I remember that I got one and a friend, hey, thank you very much. Boom. And it just disappeared. And I was like, okay, another one, right? I asked for another drink. Boom, another one. Took it. And I was like, in the end, I didn't take any. And when I went back, they say, no, Miss, ya se acabó. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't I didn't taste it, but they say that it was good. What kind of gifts do people usually give in the weddings? What is the most common thing that you give in a wedding as a gift? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es el regalo más común que la gente da en las bodas? How do you say if... bahia, teacher? Dishes. Dishes. Envelope gifts. Dishes. Uh, uh, money. Money. Good. Money. Money. Irons. Irons. Right? <laughs> Irons. Good. But they are very necessary. Irons, dishes, money. What else? Ovens, I think. Uh, microwave ovens, right? Or the little ovens. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? The blenders. The blenders, las licuadoras. Yeah. yeah, they they give that. What else? Well, silverware. All the silverware is the all the cucharas y tenedores. That's called silverware. Coffee maker. Coffee makers, good. Coffee makers are very common coffee makers but i think the most common thing is dishes dishes and glasses dishes and glasses dishes and, and, and money egg money right dishes money glasses uh, picture frames porta retratos and mm -hmm. let me see what else things for the kitchen mostly right yeah. mostly things for the kitchen and for the house right but those are the things about the receptions. Let me see. Mr. Julio, are you married? Yes, I am. Okay. What was the most, uh, what is the highlight that you remember from your wedding? What is something specific or special that you remember from your wedding? <sighs> Don't tell me the money me, that you Let spent. me remember. I think... Uh, Almost all my all my family wasn't drunk, and and I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's something to remember. <laughs> yeah, if you are watching this yeah. video, we love you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Milton, are you married? Yes, I am. What do you remember from your wedding? Something specific that you remember. But see the specific, uh, I think the the suit, suit, uh -huh. the saco. Uh -huh. I in this moment, a previous previous the ceremony, uh, and one hour uh, before, I I suit I I try the suit and oh. then uh, suit is 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 um, small oh my small God. for my size mm. yes i i mm, uh, problem very very big problem oh my god <laughs> but uh, in, in this moment i remember i remember i have another suit uh, uh -huh. for graduation, and then <laughs> It, it was the solution. Oh, 
okay. I think, uh, the, the, of the different color, but, but uh, it was the solution. <laughs> it was the solution, right? Yeah, you say like, yeah, that's the look. Right? <laughs> but imagine that's good for the boys. But what about the girls? How do you make another dress on the moment? That's important. Yes, the, the different suit is the, uh, uh, the color light. Oh my goodness. Color light. <laughs> and then in the, the original suit is navy. Oh, it was, okay. <laughs> so you were like kind of different yeah. a little bit yeah, different. a small problem but i i, I didn't remember <laughs> maybe your wife still remembers that day yeah, let yeah. me see mr miguel lara are you married a teacher no okay so no. get take notes of all these things okay ahorita miguel va a notar todos los consejos que le den aquí no alcohol and check the suit, okay? That's good. Catherine, are you married? Yeah. Uh-huh. Catherine, are you married? No. Okay, so take notes. <laughs> Anna Yancy, are you married? Yes. Okay, what is... What um, is because, because on the beach, um the two the the whites oh you were you were dressed in white oh what a romantic yeah it was cute that's cute thank you an agency ismael are you married uh yes i am do you remember something specific about your wedding day um let me remember yes i remember that after uh, the ceremony like you said we took a lot of pictures so <laughs> and then we were um, uh, i think the word is laying down uh -huh. on the on the grass yes and, and someone was taking pictures <laughs> so that's what i remember Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Very nice. Blanquita, what is something specific that you remember from your wedding? Um, the funny, but uh -huh. what, really not not funny, but uh the morning the when was the married, uh -huh. I one boss took my uh, crush or chuck. How do you say to crash? Crash. Crash my car. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. And uh, my car it's broken the a uh, backside. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. This day I I I want no no one uh, saw my my husband, but. For the accident, <laughs> Oh my God. In the oh, morning. Oh my goodness. Well, that's, that's a lot. I mean, yeah, imagine <laughs> what exactly on the day of your wedding. Oh my yes. goodness. Okay, what a difficult thing. But thank God no one was hurt. Let's see. No. Regina, are you married? Yes. Do you remember something specific about your wedding day? I remember um, a, a rib, uh -huh. uh -huh. my, my school mate, uh -huh. he, he, we dance. Hey, did that's bad. cool. Uh -huh. yeah, did bad. Um, I, I don't have photograph oh uh, from the party oh you don't have pictures the of the party photograph uh -huh. or photographer the um, photographer didn't arrive didn't arrive oh my goodness so he didn't arrive that's so bad only the shoes <laughs> only from the church but not from the ceremony yes. oh that's so sad mr marlon <laughs> how are you 
I'm fine, thank you. Okay, you sound better. What is something specific that you remember from your wedding? Well, it's, um, I was nervous mm -hmm. because it was the time and she had not arrived. Oh my God. She, yes, she, I, she declined the offer. She said. <laughs> I thought that she had repented. <laughs> that she regretted and she said, maybe not. <laughs> and she yes, said, uh, she, she told me uh -huh. that, yeah. How do you say no encontraba? That she didn't find. Really, please. That she didn't find. That she, she didn't, find. didn't find. She didn't find a, a car. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's difficult. But yeah. thank God she arrived. I can see her there. That's very yes. good. Thank you, Marlon, and for the sure. All, uh -huh. all is good. And then everything was good. Mr. Alfredo, are you married? No, no, I am. No, I'm not, teacher. Um, okay. uh -huh. uh, we, we are, we are commit, 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 commit. Commit, commit. Uh, yes. You are, you are commit. engaged, engaged. Están comprometidos. Engaged, engaged. Uh, you are engaged, okay. Me falló, que... me falló de translate, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. No, es que comprometido um, de, comprometido de que estoy comprometido a hacer algo es committed. Pero casorio. Comprometi... Ajá, pero comprometido de engage. Ese es engage. Engage. Ese es um, apartado, eh, amarrado, reservado. Engage. Recogido, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we, we're going to go in the beach in the Luna de Miel, ¿cómo se dice? And as for the honeymoon. For the honeymoon. That's uh, fantastic. That's great, teacher. Very, very good. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Well, you see, as we were talking about here, we have very specific and unique customs, right? And every family has a specific details for the specific events that we have in our lives, right? If we can spend a lot of time talking about the wedding and the wedding and everything. So it's very good. And um, thank you for sharing your experiences. For the ones that are not married, take notes for the things that you don't have to do, right? So uh, we were talking about this one, right? I remember that we read this uh, reading on the platform about the unique customs, right? What people do in the different celebrations, right? And we have a, well, we have a couple of practice on this one. What is the meaning of them? What is the meaning of it? ¿Se acuerdan que lo hicimos en la plataforma? ¿Qué significaba la palabra them, it, their in the specific sentences that we had here? Well, so for today, I wanted to introduce the topic of the past, the present, and the future. So that's why I have been talking about different events, right? How was your wedding? What did you do? How was your weekend, right? For you to come and practice the three different tenses, past, present, and future. So something specific that you have when you talk about the past, right? It's events that already happened, events that already finished. When you talk about the present, things that are happening right now or things that are going to happen in the future. Uh, well, in the future, in the same day, right? That's the future is more than one second, it's the future. The present, things that are happening right now, events or activities that are taking place in this moment. And the future, things that are going to happen plans that we have for a future uh, time. So if we can mention something from the past, what was the first question that I asked you in the class? ¿Cuál fue la primera pregunta que les hice este día cuando iniciamos la clase? What was, no. What about your weekend? What about the weekend? Uh -huh. yes. How was your weekend? How uh, was how your weekend? Was... Okay. That's the first question that I asked because it is something related to what happened in the past, right? And you told me, I went to do this, I visited my family, I watched TV um, on Saturday and Sunday, I did this and this. So you use past tense on this one. For the present, what are you doing right now? What are you doing in this exact moment? In class. I am in class, right? I am in class. I am listening to the teacher. I am receiving I classes. Class. I am in class. I am 
speaking English. I am receiving my classes. So it is very curious, right? Because you are doing that right now. Un segundo atrás, past tense. Un segundo en el futuro, it's future. Okay, el presente es como un segundo nada más. So you have to you have to leave it. You have to leave it because it's very quick. What are you going to do after class? What? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. It's like bye, teacher. Plick. <laughs> <laughs> and you fall asleep instantly. Okay, what are you going to do after the class? I are want you... to watch TV. To watch TV, right? Who is going to eat after the class? Work. I am going to work. work. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes. that's fast. Well, after your class, I am going to work because I needed to have another class, right? So I'm going to work. What are it's you sure. going to do? Uh -huh. sure. Descansar. Descansar, pero no dormir. Rest. 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 Yeah, I am going to send it to you on the chat. I am going to rest. Right? R-E-S-T. Who is going to take a shower after the class? No one? No, no. Maybe no dinner two? You are going <laughs> dinner number two? Yeah, dinner number one before the class. Dinner number two after the class. Okay. Who is going to drink coffee after the class? No one? Okay, no one. So everybody's going to prepare for the bed. That's good. So that is going to be in the future because it's not happening right now. So that is the idea of the topic that we're going to study in today's class. Here, we have a little conversation. Let me see. Um, Miguel and Blanca, can you help me to read the conversation, please? Okay. Yes, I am Tanya. Okay, go ahead. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people live here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it's, it seems like there's construction site on over corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at the little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they are tearing, tearing, tearing down our high school. They are going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Dad, because everyone has a car. Five years ago, people will everywhere now they they drive. Very good. Thank you very much. Reactions for your friends. Pronunciation issues. We have tearing down. They are tearing down. What is the meaning of tearing down? Tearing down. When they are um, uh, destroying something, right? They are tearing down mm -hmm. the building. Good. Uh, very soon? Very oh. soon. Soon. Okay. Soon. soon. Okay. Very soon. Okay. Let me see. We have also a grocery store, right? Grocery store. Malls and parking lots. Malls and parking lots. And this one is 50. 50. Everywhere. Okay. And you say nowadays. 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 And let's see. What was another one? Oh, the neighborhood. Sure has changed, right? The neighborhood sure has changed. Okay. So let's go together. Um, let's see, I am going to raise this one. Repeat with me, please. This neighborhood sure has changed. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. No. I know. I know. I know. A few years yeah. ago, a few years a few ago, years ago oh. not many people live here. Not many, not many people, people live here. here. But the population is growing so fast these days. 
It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we okay, let me see. let me re <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Remember, Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Grocery store. That was difficult. That was difficult. Now mm -hmm. it's a multiplex cinema. Now, now it's multiplex cinema. Cinema. Yeah. 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 And they are tearing down yeah. our high school. They are tearing down, 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 down our high school. school. high school. Our high school. Good. They are going to build a shopping mall. They are going, going to build a shopping mall. Shopping mall. Going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. That's because, That's because everyone has a car. Everyone has a car. 50 years ago, 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. People, people walk everywhere. 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 Nowadays, nowadays, nowadays they, they, drive. they drive. They drive. Excellent job. They drive. Okay. Excellent teacher. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? <laughs> I need to practice that part. Okay. So in this conversation, we have the three tenses. We have past, present, and future. Can we identify the different sentences that we have in the past, in the present, and in the future? Mm. Past. Mm -hmm. This neighborhood past has years changed. The this past. neighborhood sure has changed. Well, this is an expression. This is just an expression. Sí que ha cambiado, right? But it will be an expression in present. A few years ago. A few years ago, when you say a few years ago, not, not many, many people. people live here, right? Yeah. A few years ago, not many people live here. What is this? Past, present, or future? Past. 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 It's past, right? Past. It's past. Very good. Past. Any past. other one that you can identify? Present population is growing so fast this day. The population is growing so fast these days. Excellent. This That's present. present. Yes, this is present. Another one? Yeah, I remember how you used to buy candy. Okay. Is, yeah, and not is a multiplex cinema? Okay, wait. It says, remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? This is? Past. Past. Good. Past. And when you say now it's a multiplex cinema, what is this? Present. present. This is present. present. Right? present. This is present. present. And present. what about this one? It seems like there is a construction site on every corner. What is that? Past, present, or future? Future. It seems like there is future. a construction site in every corner. It's future. There is a construction site on every corner. Is it future? It seems. Like, One yeah. moment. What does it mean? It seems. Parece. Parece. Pressure. It present. Says, there is a construction site on every corner. That's present. Right? It seems like there is a construction site on every corner. This is present. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos there is. There is mm -hmm. a construction site on every corner. And what about this one? They are tearing down our high school. Tearing down, tearing down. Present. It's present, but what type of present? Because eh, they yeah. are, ellos están. Aha, but what type of present is that one? When I say they are tearing down, 
it has a specific name. Do you know the name? If I say Maybe. I am receiving classes, I am taking notes, I am listening to the teacher, I am speaking on the microphone. What is the name of these sentences? Jerome. Ha, Jerome's, but they have a specific name. Present. Perfect. Mm, no. Teacher. Yes. It it's like a uh, continuous present. Excellent. Present continuous, right? It's present, present continuous con because they are actions that are taking place right now. They are tearing down our high school. I am listening to the teacher. I am participating in class. They are actions that are happening in this moment, in the present. Very good. They are going to build a shopping mall. What is that? They are going to the teacher. Future, right? They are going to build a shopping mall. Good. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Future. Future, yeah. right? This yeah. is future because you have will be, right? That's because everyone has a car. What is that? Present. Present, right? That's because everyone has a car. And the next one, 50 years ago. Past, 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 right? Past. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. And the last one? Present. Present. Nowadays, they drive, right? So this one is an expression in the present, right? So that's very good. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. Yeah, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo te das cuenta que ya te pegó aquí en la, en la, la adultez? Cuando decimos, es que hace 10 años, o cuando yo estaba joven. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is, when we start talking in the past, then it's like, yeah, la edad te, te golpeó. It's like, hey, cuando yo estaba en bachillerato. Come on. It was like, hey, 20 years ago. <laughs> so that's when we start talking in past, right? Cuando yo estaba joven, aquí todo esto era monte, dice. You sure? <laughs> yes. Tiempo aquellos que no volverán. Exactly like that. It's like those old times. Those old times. Or you can say the good old times. Good, good the good old times. Los buenos viejos tiempos, right? Dorados the good old times. Dice. The golden times. The golden years. The golden times. The, the golden years. The golden years were the best time of your life, right? Años. The golden year. Los años dorados. Años dorados. Okay, the golden year. I felt very old. <laughs> Me sentí como bien vieja cuando dije. Teacher. Cuando yo estaba en bachillerato. Oh my God. Yeah, Milton. Teacher, but... When I, when I say uh, a good time, the good it's time a, is a, a past or present. When I say the yes. good times, this one. Así como la que le acabo de poner ahí. Yes, yes. Yeah, but in okay. this one, yes. this it's one, for good. example. Uh -huh. But this one, it has to be accompanied with something. Casi siempre cuando decimos, eh, the good times, siempre va acompañado de algo. Because maybe you say like, for example, eh, going, eh, when I was young, you used to say, okay, I'm going to give you one example. When I was young, eh, I used to go out a lot. And then you say, these were good times. Casi siempre esa expresión mm -hmm. va después de algo que usted recuerda, después de algo que usted menciona. Okay. When I was young, it's I used to go out a lot. These were good times. It's com com complimentary. Uh -huh. It's a compliment for another expression. So it depends. Ah, okay. If you say, for example, tomorrow we are going to have a party. And we are going to have a good time. So that is for the future. Ah, okay. Right now I, I can say you. we are in the class and we are having a good time that it's present, right? So good times is just a compliment in this case. Teacher. Yes. Okay. But don't worry. We are like Hawaiian. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Every every year it gets better and better. But it's better and better. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have a doubt about it. Good. So let's see. I really like that you got the idea. What is past, what is present, and what is future, right? We don't have to get confused because in some cases we can mix tenses, but we don't have to mix sentences, right? Because we cannot say a few years ago, I will go to a supermarket because that they don't match, right? It's not possible. So you have to be very careful when you are writing or when you are creating sentences that you don't mix the information, right? Or tomorrow I was happy because that's not possible, right? Tomorrow I will be happy as I am today. So that's the main idea of this. And in this one, let me just erase here. I have three examples, right? Of past, present, and future. Ismael, can you help me with the examples of the past? Julio, with the examples of the present, and Catherine, with the examples of the future. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, you said I have to read the ones for past. Okay, yes, a few ahead. years ago, a few years ago, not many people lived here. People used people used to shop at grocery stores. Fifty years ago, people worked walked everywhere. Okay. What about the present, go ahead. These days, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at a supermarket. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. I don't know how to say instead. 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 And the future? The future. Some there will be a lot of shopping mates. In 20 years, people might buy groceries this computer. In the future, people are going to use car even more. Okay, so I say shopping malls, shopping malls. Yeah. Might, shopping might malls. buy, might buy groceries might by buy. computer. Buy. And people yes. are going to use cars even more, right? The pronunciation of even more instead and everywhere. Okay, so now that your friends have read the examples, I need you to tell me, have you identified a specific phrases or sentences that we use with the three tenses? What are some specific sentences that we use with the different tenses? In the past, what are some specific phrases that we use to start the phrases? Ah or the sentences many years ago at the time the past exactly um a few years ago uh-huh used, used, used to right i used to just solia i used to right in, and in past walk walk i used to walk a lot right and in this one when you say 50 years ago you can 50 say years ago. 50 years ago well, I have a very good example for this one. Two years ago, two years ago, we used to go on the street without the mask. Now you cannot enter everywhere if you don't have a mask. So 50 years ago, people never thought about wearing masks. But now it's a part of the outfit. Ahora la mascarilla es parte de su atuendo. <laughs> ya hasta las combinamos, ya pues. Ya ni modo. Yes. Yeah, I have many For the events too. I, yes, and, uh, and for the events too, right? You have formal masks, you have the normal, the colorful. So it's, it's uh, a very good example. So two years ago, we didn't have masks, but now we have to have masks. What about- We live, live with a mask. You live with a mask, definitely. 
In the present, what are some phrases that we use for the present sentences? These days. These days. Uh huh. Now. Today. Today. The teacher is grown. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Alfredo, you had a question. No, no, teacher, no, no, no. Okay. And say like, when you say is growing so fast, this is the present continuous, right? This is la forma del presente continuous. These days, population is growing so fast. And this is present, right? Today, nowadays, these days. And for the future, what phrases do you have for the future? Soon. Soon, right? Soon, we're going to use in time will, but the future will we not happen to now exactly it hasn't happened yet it hasn't yet. happened yet but it's going to happen in the future right soon there will be a lot of shopping malls right here uh, the next one will be will be will be, will be and well will be is the form of the future right esta es la forma de futuro pero la frase que ocupamos para introducir la idea es soon Pronto, esto va a pasar. And then the next one, in 20 years, in 20 years, and with this one, we use might. Might buy. Okay? Might buy. Esa es una posibilidad de futuro. La gente puede o podría comprar ya por computadora. And we do that now. Okay, creo que este futuro ya no llegó. People might buy groceries by computer. Now, if you want to buy groceries, you just open an app on your cell phone and you choose the groceries that you want, and then you receive them in your house. So I think that is a very, very good thing. That's a future that we are living. And the last one that we have? In the future. In the future, right? In the future, in the future. people are going to use cars even more, right? So here we have the apps for the shopping. You just click on one thing and then you get your food in your house, in the future, in two days, in three days, the next year, right? Those are also sentences that you can use to talk about the future. Let's see, I have another example right here. I have here like a very uh, short description of uh, what we have been talking. For the past tense, you have in the past, 10 years ago, when I was a kid, when I was in a school, in the 90s, a few years ago, right? Ese puede ser la frase introductoria para su oración en pasado. Y tenemos muchos más ejemplos, pero ahí les saqué varios. In the present time, you have now, today, in these days, nowadays, in the present, right? And in the future time, in 20 years, in five years, next year, soon, okay? And I have some examples for each of them. So what I am going to do right now is that I am going to send you a screenshot of this one. Oh, si pueden, le sacan un screenshot ahorita, porfa. Todos a sacarle el screenshot. Ya. Porque lo vamos a ocupar. Ready. Ready. The screenshot time. I don't know if it's like this or this. I don't know. I'm going to point the two sides screenshot because I need you to use this one for tomorrow's class, okay? Esta parte de aquí es la que vamos a ocupar para las clases del día de mañana. Este van a ser las introductory phrases for the sentences that I need you to write, okay? Ahí les dejo las frases introductorias para cada uno de los tenses, ya sea para past, present y future. Lo que van a hacer ustedes es complementar las oraciones, ¿ok? Ya les di la parte eh, introductoria y les di algunos ejemplos en la parte de abajo para que ustedes puedan tomar ideas de cómo pueden escribir sus oraciones, ¿ok? El día de mañana nos vamos a reunir eh, en clase, como siempre, pero nos vamos a reunir en grupos. Y entonces cada grupo va a compartir sus oraciones y van a presentar las que, las que mejor les convengan ahí. Las que crean que están más creativas son las que vamos a presentar con todos los demás, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer grupitos ahí de tres para eh, compartir las oraciones y escoger las mejores que vamos a presentar para toda la clase. So, there you have the example. The introduction and you have to complete it. 
for tomorrow's class. Okay, my dear students, there you okay. have the example. There okay. you have the explanation and we are going to use the sentences tomorrow. Okay, así que mañana no se les puede olvidar la tarea porque la van a ocupar al iniciar la clase. Okay. Okay. Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow to complement this topic and for another class. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Take see you care. tomorrow.